feel like I am trapped in this place. So, I was told yesterday by one of the uh, rulers, authorities in a church that I had joined a long time ago because I went because of the demonic attacks and threats on my life to kill me. Every time I turn around, I'm told they're going to kill me, whoop me, beat me, whatever. And he said that, yeah, because I'm not subject to the rulers here and the authorities here in the churches and I don't have a covering. I'm not in a church where I'm covered and out, you know, serving with the church. So, I read the book about the authorities. I was doing good works. I was doing good works, going places, praying for people, you know, even though, you know, you have to go, the Bible does tell you to go out by two. I was, you know, doing things, you know, giving scriptures to people, um, praying for people, you know, praying for the neighborhoods, um, you know, just doing whatever I, you know, would come across me to do whether somebody was in needed you know to be corrected in the word the enemy had came in and put blinded them or whatever I would get scriptures together I would pray for you know but I was still abused I would go out I would pray for people you know don't matter I was still abused they would be like whoop her if I didn't lay hands on somebody the authorities would say whoop her even though the Bible tell you don't be quick to lay hands on somebody. They didn't care that them, they was making me sick. They had already made me sick, allowed them to do witchcraft and stuff on me. That's why nobody would help me. Because they allowed them to do witchcraft on me, voodoo on me in this here church. That was my mom's church, and this man named Robert was over. And he would say, whoop her. You know, Lord, they even ordered stun guns, and they had to had used spiritual stun gun, a stun gun, but they used it in the spiritual realm to attack me. You know, they was beating me. They was doing so much evil to me, to where I lost my voice. I didn't want to pray to God no more because He didn't help me. I lost faith in Him, and this been going on for seven years. Just abuse behind abuse spiritual abuse raping me you know the same man named robert who was married to my mom who wear her you know he's a principality he came across my car pimp walk across my car one day i was at the library came his spirit came on me while he pimp walked across my car laughing raping me nobody did nothing about that you know what i'm saying what about when i went to the doctor to see another doctor there at this clinic that they that this church is over and the man named Robert the doctor named Robert they sent me to him instead of the other man and he did something to my vagina in and I was in pain for Turn days left. you know until I cried out so loud one day just wept out and God healed me that night it was that night I just couldn't take it you know and Oh, he, God gave me an instant healing that night, but, you know, but he and my mom coming and find me where I'm at in the spiritual realm, tra tracing me, tracking me everywhere I go, doing evil to me. So, I, you know, nobody, they don't care about that. You know what I'm saying? They ran me off from the church. You know, they let, they allowed this same man named Robert and one of the nurse practitioners there at the clinic they are at, they allowed them to accuse me of being on drugs and alcohol when all it was was the oil of joy that God had gave me an overflowing cup of. And nobody said nothing about that. You know, they people in the church, they'll put hits out on you. They'll, they will stop you from having a job. They'll put you in the trash. I went to this other church the other day. All they were saying is telling me something, put her in the trash. One of them told me in the church while I was praying to God. I, I heard his voice clearly. You know, these spirits, they'll come on you. I, bitch, I should have killed your sour ass, too. So, why in the world would I want to go join churches, especially churches that 
when I called them for help, you know, even went to church to and joined the church, started going to the church. They laughed at my pain and my shame. They laughed at the devil was doing stuff to me, saying, you know, I, I kept calling them. I was crying out, and, um, you know, I sounded like a goat on a bridge about to jump. Just so much that the church has done. I don't mean to be on here talking about people in the church, what they've done to me, because they get mad at you for that, too. They'll kill you for that. You know, how they put me in a hospital, caused me to kill myself by doing voodoo on me. I couldn't take no more. I, and they they was waiting on me. They tried to have me committed and put on medication. They locked me down to a bed because I wouldn't allow them to watch me. Literally turn around, look at me while I pee. I asked them to turn around while I pee. Give me some you know, privacy. You can stand in the door. I understand that when a person commits suicide, you have to watch them, but you don't literally have to watch them while they wipe themselves. I was on my cycle. They didn't care, so I said, I'm going to leave. They called security on me. And they locked me to the bed and they had me. They had five of them did. Three, two men and three women. I'm not lying. God is my witness. They kept holding me down, trying to put Catherine's in me. The biggest one, they said, go get the biggest one we got to torment me. Put plastic over my mouth, a little plastic thing. I couldn't breathe. I woke up the next day. I had to been passed out. I had slob all up my face. They wouldn't give me nothing to drink when I had asked for something to drink that night. I was, it was awful. I, I was screaming and hollering, help, you know, somebody help me. They tormented me until I passed out. Nobody did nothing about that. It's, and that was one of the spiritual mothers, the same spiritual mother. She still followed me around. Everywhere I go, she there. These same people, Robert, everywhere I go, I, he's there. He's following me, telling people he's my dad and he's not my dad. I rebuke him. Um, they tell people that I'm unkind, I'm unsweet, so people attack me. They tell people that, you know, I'm being mean, so they attack me. They imprison me. They send demons to torment me. I don't want to be here. If this is what it is all about, I try to join churches to serve God. Because that's what my heart has always been. But if I'm having to deal with evil leaders in the church, and I don't want to deal with that. You know what I'm saying? They got mad because they told me to be a pastor in the house with some family members that was operating witchcraft. They was trying to kill me. You know what I'm saying? The Holy Ghost told me to stay away from my mother. The spiritual mother or the natural mother who gave birth to me, I'm not sure which one. But I just know that in every... It's, it's been a nightmare. Seven, eight years of a living hell. People that's been in my life, they call them family. They watch over you, you know, pray for your soul or whatever. They also put you in prison. They'll lock you up if you do one thing wrong. Say one wrong word, you go on. They're going to send demons. I've been being raped by demons all night. I went to this church and they said that they won't do nothing about the rulers, you know, abusing me or what I mean sending up you know locking me up or whatever they see fit for me but then I turned around and prayed against the demonic attack said that Lord let the demonic attack stop but the demonic attacks haven't stopped I'm still being attacked you know what I'm saying principalities follow me doing whatever the hell they want to do to me last night raping me against my will touching my butt sodomizing me Ever since I dropped my daughter off at college yesterday, they came in my car, following me, sodomizing me, feel heat on my butt, just doing evil to me, stealing my peace. You think I want to be here? I don't want to be here. I do not want to. I don't have no joy. I have to force myself to be happy. But I'm a child of God. And... I don't even like praying anymore. They want me to go join a church. A church asked, told me that the Holy Spirit said for me to join their, I mean, to, that I was going to be operating in deliverance at their church. Well, I need deliverance myself. 
I'm not happy. You know, I wake up barely wanting to even pray and talk to God. It's just the truth. But not that I don't love him because God is beautiful. I, you know, I honestly adore him. You know, I love his presence. But this has been overbearing. It's been too much. It's been way too much. I don't even know how to feel about none of this stuff. I know the Bible tells you if you do right, you know, good will come. You know, these people have been killing me every single day. Killing me to where I don't have nothing left. All I want to do every day is just get away from them, all everybody, and just hide. But you can't hide from them. These are spirits. They tracking me. They put snakes on me to track me. I have snakes in my car. They get on my leg. I have to go to sleep with spiritual snakes on me. I don't know what the heck they gonna do to me. I go to sleep. I'm. I don't have. I. You know. Even though I pray, it's like I'm not covered. You know. what I'm saying like a head just been taken from around me because I'm raped. If I'm being raped, then it ain't no telling what the devil is doing to me when I'm asleep. Just think about it. You can pray all day long, but if these people see fit to take your hedge protection away, you know what I'm saying, and these are rulers and leaders and authorities, God is going to listen to them because he put them in place. So whatever they say, that's what go. If they take grace from you, then grace is taken from you. You won't receive grace in areas in your life. You're just going to be screwed up down here until you do whatever the hell they want you to do. Even if it kills you doing it. You just got to just do it. So that's just, you know, that's that's life after you're saved in a nutshell. If you don't have friends, then whatever. One man told me that I belong to him. So you telling me, I don't, I'm like, somebody gave me to, me, to him telling me that I'm going with him. Trying to force me to have a boyfriend or whatever. I don't know. But then the same man I heard that they forced me to go with, I heard a voice tell me that he was the one that told the demons where I was at to sodomize me when I first got to the place where I had moved to. You know, In a half mile, I said, turn left. And they are forcing me to go with him. I'm abused every day. I was in Alabama and the first, when I got back to Alabama, the first two days down there, it was okay. Then I guess the third day, they, they found that I was back in Alabama for a minute. It was a nightmare. So, I don't know. All I can say is that I, you know, it's I don't know. I see why people leave God and turn from Him. They turn to witchcraft. You know, because you're already dealing with life itself. And if they put you, they put you out of the church. You know, you can't. Because think about it. The church is great. They are everywhere. If they put your name in a system and block you, you won't get nothing. You won't get a job. Even though if you go to the hospital, you know, I take my daughter to the hospital and my children to the hospital and they refuse to see us, refuse to help, refuse to do right by us. My daughter been suffering from, uh, I believe she has a, a cyst on her ovary. Every month, just severe pain. Every month, I had to hear her crying, see her in pain when she's not at school, in college. I mean... And they won't even they wouldn't give her an x-ray or you know nothing to do Turn right left. by her they mock me when I go in they it's just it's been it's been so much evil to it's just ridiculous I'm like I my hand I don't have money to help her she don't have insurance she don't have she got a part-time job in school just a night, just a nightmare. Knowing your children is being abused by these rulers, these principalities here, nobody to help them fight for them. They tell you that they abuse my daughter.
because of me. You know, because I did something that they didn't like. You know what I'm saying? That was very hurtful. That's why with this person who they say I had sex with and ended up, you know, having a spiritual baby with, I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. I break and disannul any contact with him in Jesus' name. You know, they said that he was going to kill me one time when I went to Tennessee. This is, I'm dealing with principalities. I was hanging out with these two twins and one of them, they wanted to take me to eat. But every time I go around them, one of them kept doing witchcraft against me. Every single time, you know, you know, um, dude told he won't have to do it. He don't have to do it. He have him doing it. So, I guess when you're twins, one of them protects the other and do all the dirty work. Get a quarter mile. And the other, Turn right. You know, I don't, I understand a little bit, but I just say, you know, she's just dealing with all kind of crazy stuff. If you don't join, you have to, you have to, they have, I guess, these measures right. set up down here where you got to join one of them. If you don't, then, and if, even if you join them and if they ain't right and something, you just stuck. You stuck. I don't see, you just, uh, I'm just thinking about all of this, you know, I just, I'm like, I don't understand enough. It's, you know, I just feel like this is a nightmare. You know, whatever they pronounce on you, they pronounce evil on you. Even though God says the gates of hell and plans of hell won't prevail, he said that his plans that he have for us are good. I haven't seen those good plans yet. I have not received any of those good plans, and I've been waiting for them. I have spirits in my car right now listening to me, you know, touching my vagina. You know, they touch me inappropriate. Just touch me a fire on my vagina. I can tell them to stop touching me. They won't. You know, somebody sent them and gave them authority to do it. Like somebody sent them, gave them authority to sodomize me. You know, so if a person, if you're being abused all the time and you lose hope in God and lose faith in God, I, if let me, I don't care. I see why. I mean, I won't say another another word to a person who practices witchcraft. I see why people turn from God and do witchcraft because of so much evil in this place. You can listen to you still gonna get attacked. I don't care. I, I've seen it with my own eyes. They still abuse you. You still you still you get abused. And I was abused in the church. You know, what I'm saying mocked, talked about, persecuted. And the Bible tells you, but your own sisters and brothers in Christ, the Bible don't tell you that. I, that's just something you, I wasn't prepared for. I was prepared for love from my sisters and brothers in Christ because the devil was abusing the hell out of me and my family. You, you know what I'm saying? Family don't mistreat. You know, if God says to love one another, if love is kind and does no wrong, then why have we? And I'm not saying it's against every church, and I haven't been to every church. I'm not saying it's about every person in the church. Not everybody in the church abused me, but 